So oh, it's time to get some hands-on experience with CloudFront here and create our first distribution. But before we do that, we need something to serve up to this CDN, okay? And so we had an S3 section earlier uh, where I uploaded a bunch of uh, images from Star Trek The Next Generation. And so for you, you can do the same or you just need to make a bucket and have some images within that bucket so that we have something to serve up, okay? So uh, once you have your bucket of images prepared, we're gonna go make our way to the CloudFront uh, console here. And so just type in CloudFront and then click there and you'll get to the same place as me here. And we can go ahead and create our first distribution. So we're gonna be presented with two options. We have web and RTMP. Now RTMP is for the Adobe Flash Media Server Protocol. So since nobody really uses Flash anymore, we can just kind of ignore this distribution option and we're gonna go with web, okay? And then we're gonna have a bunch of options, but don't get overwhelmed because it's not too tricky. So the first thing we wanna do is set our origin. So where are, is uh, this distribution gonna get its files that it wants to serve up? It's gonna be from S3. So we're gonna click into here, we're gonna get a drop down, and we're gonna choose our S3 bucket. Uh, then we have path, we'll leave that alone. We have origin ID, we'll leave that alone. And then we have restrict bucket access. So this is a cool option. So the thing is, is that uh, let's say you only wanted people to access your um, your bucket resources through CloudFront. Because right now, if we go to S3 console, and I think we made, uh, it was uh, data public, right? And if we were to look at this URL, okay, this is publicly accessible. But let's say we wanted to force all traffic through CloudFront because we don't, we want to, CloudFront they can track things. So we get some rich analytics there and we just don't want people directly accessing this ugly URL. Well, that's where uh, this option comes in, restrict bucket access, okay? And it'll, uh, it'll create an origin identity access for us, but we're gonna leave it to no. I just want you to know about that. And then um, down to the actual behavior settings, we have the ability to uh, redirect HTTP to HTTPS. That seems like a very sane setting. Uh, we can allow the HTTP methods. We're only going to be ever getting things. We're never going to be put or posting things. Um, and then we'll scroll down. Scroll down. We can set our TTLs. The defaults are very good. Um, and then down here we have restrict viewer access. So if we wanted to restrict the viewer access to require signed URLs or signed cookies to protect access to our content, we'd press yes here. Uh, but again, this we just want this to be publicly available. So we're going to set it to no. Okay. And then down below we have distribution settings and this is gonna really affect our price, the, uh, the cost we're gonna pay here as it says price class, okay? And so we can either um, distribute um, all copies of our files to every single edge location or we can just say US, Canada, Europe or just US, Canada, yeah, Europe, uh, Asia, Middle East, Africa or just the, the main three. So I wanna be cost saving here. It's not really gonna cost us a lot anyway but I think that if we set it to the lowest class here that it will take less time for the distribution to replicate here and this tutorial will go a lot faster, okay? Then we have the ability to set um, an alternate domain name. This is uh, important if we are using a CloudFront a certificate and we want a custom domain name, um, which we would do in a uh, another follow along, but not in this one here, okay? And if this was a website, we would set the default root here to index.html. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to know here. And we'll go ahead and create our distribution, okay? And so our distribution is going to be in progress. And we're gonna wait for it to distribute those files to all those edge locations, okay? And so this will just take a little bit of time here. Um, it usually takes, I don't know, like three to five minutes. So we'll, we'll resume the video when this is done creating. 